Predatory journals are a huge problem for science today. Nearly a fifth of the global scientific research community's annual article output is published in predatory journals. That's more than 420,000 articles per year that have not been properly read and checked by other experts in the field before publication. In other words, they haven't been peer-reviewed. Predatory journals take article processing fees from authors and publish their work as is. Predatory journals can publish anything and call it a scientific article. And anything means anything. On Google Scholar, we find this article published in the Scientific Journal of Research and Reviews. Hopefully anybody looking closely will realize it's a spoof, which the author wrote and published to showcase how predatory journals fail utterly to implement quality checks. The big problem, though, is that spotting articles published in predatory journals is usually not so easy. Predatory journals claim their articles are peer-reviewed. Sometimes they attach the names of important experts in a field to their journal without asking or telling the person they are doing it. This makes it hard for non-experts and for students who are building expertise to spot when an article isn't sound. This article, for instance, looks legitimate, but it was published in the same issue of the same journal as the spoof article, so we can infer that no experts reviewed it. Even advanced researchers can't always easily identify when a journal is predatory because these journals try to look as legitimate as possible. But FSTA's editorial team of expert food scientists check every journal included in the database to be sure they are legitimate and really do carry out the peer review they say they do. Between 2017 and 2021, the team excluded 147 suspected predatory food science and nutrition related journals from FSTA. Articles from 146 of these journals are included in Google Scholar, and articles from 44 of them are included in PubMed. This is one of the reasons that using FSTA to find your food science research makes a whole lot of sense.